Hi guys, James at Rampant Line Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we have a beer that is very very rare these days and I feel very privileged that I'm actually getting to review it for you. So for this one we are going to go to Omnipoyo from Sweden and this is a collaboration beer with Buxton Brew. I think it's actually brewed at the Buxton Brewery in England and this is the Yellow Belly. It's an imperial stout that comes in at 11% and it's brewed with peanut and biscuit. So this one should be pretty damn awesome and as you can see it's made to look like one of these white supremacist KKK bastards from America so it should be a really really awesome beer. This one's rated at 100 overall on rate beer and 96 within the style and the other guys that I've seen review this beer have absolutely raved about it so I'm very interested to see what this one was all about. This one was produced as part of the Rainbow Project in 2014 incidentally but this was very kindly sent to me by one of my Swedish fans Johan Reiding and he also sent me Agamemnon which is another very rare Omnipoyo beer and one from Brickeria as well, which is a brewery who are very, very hard to find in Sweden these days, actually. So a huge thank you to Johan for providing the beer for this review, and I really hope you enjoy this review and the other ones when they publish as well. So a huge thank you once again. It's, it's kind of ridiculous that he sent me these beers because they are so rare these days. So a huge thank you once again. But anyway, as is usual with my beer reviews then, I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you do want to get straight to the tasting, just fast forward. All the usual websites are in the video description below. That's the brewery websites, Omnipo and Buxton Brewery. There's the links to my reviews from Omnipoyo I've done before and I've got a link down there to my future ones I'll do from Buxton. As I said, my very first encounter with them and there's all the usual social media, Facebook, Twitter and Untapped, so please follow me on there and if you want to see more beer reviews, do subscribe to the channel. There's many interesting things coming up. So first of all, to tell you about Omnipoyo. So Omnipoyo are a gypsy brewery from Sweden. They were founded in 2011 by Henok Fenty, who's a long-time home brewer, and Carl Grandin, who's actually a clothing designer. And the two met one day and they decided to start a brewery together after they discussed the kind of insular craft beer scene in Sweden and abroad but they wanted to reinvigorate the craft beer scene in Sweden from both a stylistic and a gastronomic sense so they felt that the partnership between a home brewer and a clothing designer was actually very logical and the name is derived from omnipotent chicken or omnipoyo and this a lot of people I've heard have pronounced it omnipolo but pollo of course is Spanish for chicken and that's the correct pronunciation but these guys are gypsy brewers like I said so they have no brewery of their own and rather they use spare capacity at other breweries and they brew at many collaboration beers such as this one as a result of this and currently they export to over 20 different markets and they're continually expanding but recently they also opened up their Omnipoyo's hat in Stockholm as a collaboration with Pizza Hat which has become very very popular in the city and they've got many of the Omnipoyo beers on tap and they do pretty awesome pizza apparently so I really need to go to, uh, to visit that when I do finally get up to Stockholm. That should be in April sometime. But currently they've got over 30 different beers on their website and this covers a whole array of different styles. And pretty much, I can guarantee you, pretty much just pick a style you like from Omnipoyo and you will enjoy their beers. Some of their stuff is very interesting and very experimental. You will enjoy it, so do go and check them out. So to tell you about Buxton Brewery. So Buxton are based in Buxton, which is a spa town in Derbyshire in England. And the brewery was founded by Jeff Quinn back in 2010. And it's actually very small. There's only five people working there. But the local area is known as the Peak District. And it's famed for its water. And this has been revered since Roman times, actually. They named the town Aqua Animetia, which actually translates to the waters of the goddess of spring. And most of their beers are named after local geographical and um, geological features, if you like. Very significant features around the Buxton area. But the tower that's depicted on the labels is actually called Solomon's Temple or Grin low tower and it was actually a folly so it was built to look uh, very important and very old but it's simply for decoration actually but the Buxton beers have won many accolades and the brewery has been consistently ranked in the world top 100 by rate beer I believe it was 52 they got this year but at full capacity they can brew over 60,000 litres of beer per month and their beers are now exported to around 20 countries worldwide so two very very good breweries are involved with this beer and my first encounter with Buxton as I say I'll need to try one of their own beers when I do get back to Scotland and I can find them so this should be a very very interesting beer for us to review. This one's an 11% imperial stout like I said it's described as a peanut butter biscuit imperial stout and it was produced as part of the Rainbow Project in 2014. As I said very very rare to get a hold of this one these days and I do have the description actually for this one which is from the Omnipoyo website. It says this beer is a collaborative effort together with our good friends and world class brewers at Buxton Brewery in England. Yellow Belly is a person who is without courage, fortitude or nerve, essentially a coward. 
To us, the most cowardly deeds is to act anonymously, hiding behind a group, a signifying trait of institutionalised racism. This beer is brewed to celebrate all things new, open-minded and progressive. A peanut butter biscuit stout with no biscuits, butter or nuts. Taste, enjoy and don't be prejudiced. Henock Fenty, Carol Grandin, Dennis Johnson, Jake Olsenham, uh, Jeff Quinn and Colin Strong. So this one, as I say, it should be pretty damn awesome. So we'll get this guy out and get on with the tasting here. I'll let you have a little look at it. You can see the KKK bastard on this one. And you can see there's the Omnipoyo and Buxton symbols on the back there, the Buxton Tower and the Omnipoyo guy there. So we'll get this guy out and we'll get on with the tasting then. Again, a huge thank you to Johan Reading for sending me this beer. It actually tells you that little bit I read on it there on the bottle, but I'm not sure how well you can see that because of the light. But I will definitely be keeping this bottle because of how rare it is. So as you can see, plain bottle cap on this one, plain art as well. The more interesting thing was, of course, the wrapper that it was put in. So without further ado, let's get this guy open and we'll get on with the tasting then. This should be an awesome, awesome beer. Ah, so as you can see, a nice smoky opening to this one. And I tell you something, you can really smell the peanut butter off this one as you open it up. Ah. Oh. This looks absolutely beautiful, this one. Should be a damn, damn good beer. So, you can see it's poured a really dark ebony colour. It's got a half finger of a frothy beige head on this. It should be really, really good. It's some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and quite a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of the head there. It looks absolutely awesome. Everything you would expect from an Imperial Stout. So let's have a look at the aroma here. Oh yeah. That's really, really unusual. It definitely, there's a, you know, you really smell the peanut butter out of this one. It's a very, very sweet stout. Peanut butter. There's definitely like cookie in there, like vanilla cookie coming out of this one. It's absolutely beautifully done. Very, very sweet aroma. Some dark chocolate, but also some milky chocolate coming out of this too. There's definite caramel in there too. Maybe it's a little bit toasted as well. When you sugar it up, the beer does smell a little bit more toasted. But the peanut butter really comes out of this. It almost reminds me, I think it, they call them Reese's Pieces in America. These sort of peanut butter cup sweet things that they have. Or Tafifi, it reminds me a little bit of that actually as well. But yeah, biscuit and cookie, really quite abundant in this one. Definite vanilla backing this up. And you can get some other kind of nutty infusion as well. But it smells absolutely beautiful. Such a really nice, sweet stout, this one. This is this is a ridiculously good smelling beer. That's one of the best aromas you're going to come across in the craft beer world from an Imperial Stout. That's absolutely beautiful. So if, if you get the chance to try this beer, definitely just take a bit of time and enjoy the aroma of this one because you're probably not going to get the chance to, to have a go at it again. It's a shame that this beer was brewed only once because it is supposed to be pretty damn awesome. And just from the aroma... It is incredible. So without further ado, let's get stuck into this beer then. So this is the Yellow Belly, a collaboration Imperial Stout with peanut butter and yeah, with peanut and thing and biscuit in it apparently. So this should be pretty awesome. Very much very huge thank you again to Johan Reading who actually sent me this beer. So let's get stuck into this guy, the Yellow Belly from Sweden. Score. Oh wow. <clears throat> that is really good. I nearly swallowed it the wrong way because the flavour came in. I was just like, oof. That is a beautiful, beautiful beer. It's got a nice big alcohol warmth to it. Mm. And at 11%, you wouldn't expect anything less. But yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful beer. Just from taking a sip of it, you can tell that already. But swirl it around your mouth a little bit and just... Just take in everything that this beer has. When it's a beer as complex as this, you want your whole palate to adjust to this one before you start thinking too much about dissecting the flavour. This is beautiful stuff, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where to start with this beer? There's so much going on. So it actually comes across much like you would expect from the aroma. There's a huge peanut butter flavour in this one that just underpins the whole beer. The middle of your palate is just blanketed with a very light 
slightly bready character actually, but it's very, very, it is very, very light. On top of that, you've got some sweet chocolate, milky chocolate, but a bit of darker chocolate as well. And there is some kind of roasted bready elements there as well. It's got a dark roasted character to it, this one. There's some treacle and molasses in there as well, definitely there. Mm. But the vanilla, the nice vanilla flavour really is infused very well in this. There's a bit of a creamy flavour comes out too. It's almost like a kind of vanilla biscuity cookie element in there. It's very, very nicely done. The, this, there's just so much going on in this beer. It's absolutely beautiful. There's maybe a little bit of earthy character around the back corners of the palate, but that's really quite minuscule. It's very smooth around the, the edge of your palate where you'd expect these hoppy flavours to come out, but this this is a stunning beer. You can't say anything apart from that. This beer is absolutely beautiful. Mm. One of the best beers I've reviewed on the channel, actually. It's so good. I mean, the, the pro it could even it's probably the best Imperial Stout I've reviewed on the channel, actually. And this makes me very curious to try the Agamemnon that Johan also sent me. I'm really curious to see what that's like. I've heard that Omnipoyo really excel when it comes to their dark beers. The IPAs and the ones I've reviewed for you before have been pretty damn awesome, but this one is something else. This is incredible. Mm. This is this is ridiculously good. You, there's no other way to describe it. It's absolutely stunning. So, as I said, you've got bready flavours, the sweet chocolate and peanutty flavours, the sort of peanut butter flavours in there just build on top of that. Everything everything that's complex in this malt base just builds on top of that bready malt base. There's a bit of roasted character there, some earthy elements around the p edge of the palate. Just a little bit of dryness just underpins this beer actually, but very smooth as you come around the front edges of the tongue. It's like, there is a, the, the bitter character from the earthy hop in this actually dries out at the edge of the tongue as you progress more and more into the aftertaste and it comes out a bit more as your palate adjusts to all the flavours in this beer too. Mm. But yeah, there's really nice peanut butter in here, some dark chocolate, some milkier chocolate as well. There's a huge caramel component to this beer as well, but the peanut butter, the sweet kind of cookie and vanilla and almost creamy flavour out of this just pushes that down a little bit and makes it a bit more subtle, but definitely a nice toasted, roasted caramel in there. It's a really, really interesting beer, this. If you get the chance to try this, you really must do it because it's like nothing else that you're ever going to taste. Absolutely beautiful and I'm so happy. I'm, I'm so thankful to Johan for sending me this beer. Thank you very much. It's really cool to finally see with this one what all the hype was about. And it's justified hype in my opinion. Mm. But this is absolutely beautiful. So in terms of the mouthfeel, this one, definitely full bodied. Carbonation is very, very smooth. The mouthfeel is hugely oily. It's a very, very sweet beer. There is a good bit of alcohol warmth from this as well, but the sweetness in this is very unusual. The peanut butter and the sort of vanilla cookie flavours that come out of this are very, very strange, but they, they work very, very well. It's absolutely beautiful. They're, it's, it's such an unusual beer. This, Like I said, it's like nothing else I've ever come across before and probably the best Imperial Stout I've reviewed for on the channel, at least in the top five that I've reviewed for you on here, but definitely at the higher end of that top five as well, could well be the best one that I've reviewed for you. I would definitely say that out of the 650 beers I've done so far, this one is definitely at the top of the list. So yeah, um, I hope you've enjoyed this beer review. It's been really cool to review one that is so rare. So go and check out the Yellow Belly from Omnipoyo and, and Buxton Brewery in England. A huge thank you once again to Johan for sending me this beer. As always, if you have tried it yourself, please let me know in the comment section below your own thoughts on it, especially when it's such an unusual beer. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Let me know where you're drinking it as well. Always interesting to hear that from you guys, but until the next review, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Please check out the social media things as well. Comment in the section below and let me know your own thoughts, but until the next one, slange just now and I'll catch you soon. There will be more Omnipoyo beers in the near future and hopefully I can return to Buxton Brewery soon. A huge thank you once again to Johan for sending me this beer and go and check out Omnipoyo. Pick a beer you like and I'm sure you will enjoy them. Buxton as well are very, very highly rated. But Slange just now and I'll catch you soon. The Yellow Belly is fucking awesome. There's no other way to describe it. Cheers.